Hello, welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I'd demonstrate a 2D football game I made quite a few years ago um, in C++ and DirectX 11. It was around the time of the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Um, so that was my motivation. And yeah, I'm, I'm just going to show you how it works. It's not a complete game at this stage. I never quite finished it. And to be honest, while I quite like the idea of coming back to finish it, you know, I wrote this quite a few years ago and um, the code itself is pretty sloppy at times. I mean, you know, it's, it's the kind of code that does the job, but you know, it's not, I didn't comment on it very well. And there's just lots of things I would do differently now. And I feel like to actually go back and start working on this again, I'd almost want to completely overhaul, um, I guess the foundations of the, the working game. And not only that, so there's not only the difficulty of getting in back into it, but also, um, I think I would change, uh, some of the, the functionality um, or the basic features of the game and how it works if I was going to do it again. But anyway, I'll show you how it works. So um, I'll play against AI, so that's fine. Um, so we versus computer. So you can choose the color of your side. I'm actually a Chelsea fan, so you'd think I'd go for the blue, but I actually really like uh, these colors here. And Let's go against this one. This is almost an England color, actually. Okay, so the basic of idea of how this works is in these fields here, I'm going to choose an angle between zero and 360 degrees, or 359 degrees, I should say. And that's going to control where these players move. And originally when I had this concept, um, as you know, I'll just I'll just show one round. So let's let's go through. Um, let's just roughly sort of moving my teams forward. Uh, let's go to 80, 20, and so after that, I can choose an option to pass to a player. So if I put in number five, we should see that player eleven will pass to my fifth player on my team. And that's sort of how it plays out, and you know, the, the main goal is to obviously get it in the opponent's goal. Um, the original motivation behind using angles was when I first started this, I was actually uh, studying a high school teaching diploma, and so I was kind of interested in the idea of, you know, this game being something that could teach children about, uh, or teach kids about using angles and understanding, you know, um, how angles work, for, as I said, from zero to 359 degrees, you know, just as an interesting way of learning. Um, if I was going to make this game again, I think I would um, just have some sort of drag system, you know, dragging a vector, um, which is obviously much quicker than the current play, you know, going through and choosing an angle. Choosing. And I think, yeah, you've got so many different options that, yeah, it can be quite slow to pick all the angles, but so let's just advance this a little bit further. And you can see as well that um, these are blacked out. Uh, I think the, so the original motivation behind that was when I was making it, I originally started player versus player and I wasn't doing it over a network. So if you were playing with, if I was playing with a friend of mine, um, you know, the idea is to hide the, the choice. And so it's kind of, you know, it was kind of going back to the whole, you know, don't look at the other person's screen sort of scenario. You know, you it was, you know, kind of an honor system of don't purposefully look at what the other player is doing. Um, but again, you know, if I was making it again, I think I'd try and set it up over a, a, a network so that uh, you didn't have to worry about that. So let's go to 9. I can't actually remember what I put. Okay, and so this is basically how the game plays out. So I'm just going to play a few rounds now, and you'll sort of hopefully see the idea. And 
and yeah, I'll probably end up fast forwarding it. So here we go. I'm just gonna play one Okay, so that's uh, basic gameplay, and maybe I'll come back sometime and finish this off, but as I said, I made this quite a few years ago, and I think my experience as a programmer relative, it was quite a bit better relative to what it was. So there'd be a, a lot of things I'd be looking to change, both in terms of the structure of the code, but also I think I would change some of the basic functionality of the game, such as, I think I mentioned, I'd remove the angle input system and maybe go with something more drag and drop with uh, directional vectors. So so I think getting back into it would require quite a bit of an overhaul and you can actually see that the pitch hasn't been uh, rendered properly into the uh, well this white square and that could be related to me hard coding uh, the x and y coordinates of this green square somewhere. As I said, the, the code itself um, is a bit messy at times. And yeah, so it would require quite a bit for me to go back and do that. But I like the idea of the game itself. Uh, you know, I, it's almost a bit of a strategy game as opposed to more conventional football games. And I'll just demonstrate a couple of features we didn't get to see and maybe give the opposition a chance to redeem, them, to redeem themselves in front of goal. So, if I just put it out of play, what we should see is it will the ball will end up with the opposition keeper, and he'll distribute it to a player at random on their team. And maybe from here, we'll just see how it plays out. Uh, I'm not going to do anything, and we'll give them an opportunity to score a goal. Okay, so there we go. So I think that was four moves, so not bad. Uh, you probably saw from the gameplay that uh, in terms of hard AI, they could use some work. Um, but that was actually a really fun part of making this, was to, to make the AI itself. And, you know, you're trying to think of, you know, what information you can give them to better improve the, their play. But anyway, that's my game. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as I said, maybe I will work on this 
sometime in the future again. Thank you.